UN convoy reaches the historical city of Ghadames, for centuries an important station for caravans crossing the Sahara Desert. The UN has visited this far-flung town in the southwestern Libyan desert regularly over the past two years, since Libya's 2011 revolution. Though it was one of the first to shake off former regime rule, trouble subsequently flared up between the Arab and Tawarik population as they traded accusations over allegiances during the conflict. Historically, the Tawarik were desert nomads, plying the Sahara Desert in an era predating national boundaries and over a territorial expanse extending across Libya, Algeria, Mali and Niger. Following the clashes, the Tawarik fled the town and have yet to return. This unverified cell phone video footage purports to show scenes from last year's disturbances. By the time the team sit down with the local council, there's a long agenda of items to be discussed, from ongoing collaboration with UNESCO on managing the city's rich heritage to border security and projects involving the UN development program and its commitment to building the local council's capacity. But without a negotiated solution to the conflict with the Tawareg, stability may remain elusive. But this narrative is denied by the Tawareg when the UN convoy reaches them the next day after driving an hour through a desert sandstorm. Wadi Awal is the location where the Tawarik hope to base the future administrative center. A visit to the nearby border with Algeria reveals how exposed it is, as well as the challenges of monitoring, let alone shutting down such a massive territory. Back in Wadi Awal, a sandstorm is closing in over the few huts and tents. Inside the meeting place, the Tawadi Council warn that the position is perilous, because whoever doesn't have a past cannot have a future either. <laughs> 